Hello, this is Chaos Baloo, and welcome to more Let's Play Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, we went in here and got an ass kicked by Briggs the Pirate. So you know that went well. Um, and in fact, was quite expensive. Um, wrong page. I spent, oh, over 400 coins, wow, to, re to heal and revive people. After that, because I didn't want to have to re-grab all of the stuff from the pots. So, this time around, before going to fight Briggs again, I'm gonna, you know, see if I can find anything in town. For instance, maybe there's something in here, maybe this is the prison. Actually, this is totally the prison. Everything's so boring here. Why doesn't anybody do anything criminal? Nope. Not gonna let me, eh? Oh, I totally cannot get in here, either. But I can't pick up the keys. But if I could get in there, I could totally get into the treasure hoard. Wow, that's that's kind of frustrating, actually. Those people that just came through look totally exhausted. You don't suppose they passed through the Yambi Desk to get here, do you? They did. Totally revealed here. No one is allowed beyond this point. Don't even think about it. You say that, but actually, it's not. I don't think I ha really have the means to get past you at this moment. Ooh, money! A small amount of money. So. <laughs> huh. I mean. Well. I can't really argue with your logic, but at the same time, well, anyway, anyway, let's just bring on the pain, I suppose. Um, I wonder if there are any items in this area, actually. Let's see, I don't think I can move that rock very easily, but I can definitely if I can get over there... No, no, you won't... You won't give me access. Well then, I guess I can't even try to fix your ship. Because, well, I can't actually reach the broken parts. Okay, let's save the game. Let... Oh. Oh my. I need those to be... Not... On cooldown. Let's, let's go do something like that. Something like... This. Um... Wait for... There we go. And... What? Really? Wow. Okay. The second one! Hopefully without fighting anything. There we go. Okay. Now, I don't really... Briggs is just go screw Briggs. So... I'm gonna set myself up for just... I don't believe I'm doing this. This is so bad. I'm using the most cheesy strategy in the game this early on. There is just something wrong going on there. But... But, you know, he already killed me once, so... I feel slightly justified in this course of action. Slightly. Uh, let's actually save th that time. Because I am not paying to revive myself a second time. Blah, blah, blah. We've already done this. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Can I just... Nope, that doesn't do anything. And fuck you, Kraden. Thought I'd get that away out of the way ahead of time. Now then, <clears throat> this is my snake. It's all grumbly and also works for pirates. Pirates who are not women. Anyway, let's get this show on the road. 
because Kraven is about to totally screw with me because he's an asshole who doesn't know how to shut up even though he doesn't do any work. And uh, three, two, one, bam! Bring it, Briggs! Okay, summon that. Summon that. And... Wait. Cutting edge! No. Use beam. Please? Defending! Son of a bitch! Well... I'll at least probably kill the... That guy? Wow, 60 damage. But... Seriously. Just seriously. Oi. No, I didn't even freaking kill him. Well, that's just t terrific. Oi. Uh, not. You do... Boost fence. You use beam. Please? Yep. Thought. I knew that was coming. Smoke bomb. Doesn't matter. Although I should use one of those on Briggs. You know, just so that he can ignore it as he wails on me. Uh. Hmm. Right. Anyway. Plasma. Hmm. Venus. Beam. Defending again. You know what? Fine. I'm happy with you defending. It means you aren't attacking me. I'd be even happier if you if you'd lay off on Shiba a little bit with your side warriors, because Felix is not really the super fast right now. So um, yeah. Oh, she can heal herself though. So I guess I'll do that. You, in the meantime, will. I should have just kept this off. Hmm. Whatever. Use Spire! And... More Beam. Yep. Yep. I'm also fine with Smoke Bombs because I'm using 100% Synergy and Ginny. And, you know, Smoke Bombs don't deal any damage. Jupiter! Uh... Here. Mm. I think I'll just keep on with the beam. Did Brick defend a game? He's doing that a lot this time around. I want. Hmm. That's kind of weird. I know this game doesn't pull its punches just because you die once or twice. So, yeah, that's kind of weird. I am just getting super lucky. Hmm. Well. Whatevs. Oh, this is a good opportunity to smoke bomb him its ass. In fact, proof of it not pulling his punches is the fact that I don't get my items back after I lose a battle. Of course, I think, I think the assumption is usually that you would just reload a save state. Well, save state, quotation, air mark, quotes. I mean, you can save it literally at any point outside of a battle, so... But area of effect attacks are definitely the way to go here, because... If Briggs can summon a pirate, he will always do so, and he hits harder than his pirates do. So, yeah. I wonder how effective Earthquake is. My gut feeling is not very, but let's give it a shot. Using that on your pirate friend, I am happy about. I mean, it's not really that much less than, um, than, a uh, Spire, to be honest. And it does hit his friend. So, as, well, that's probably worth it. Although, I'm gonna heal her. Also, let's use Flare Wall, because I feel like it. Although, I'm pretty sure Beam is more powerful, to be honest. Ooh, that hurts. What was I just saying about him always calling pirates? Yeah, apparently I was full of shit when I said that. Um, apparently. 
Okay, you are gonna quickly heal Jenna. You are going to use iron. You are gonna use cannon. Okay, he just used a nut on himself. I'm not really super happy about that. Gotta be honest. But it's nothing I can't break through. You I want to heal yourself. And you are gonna summon Zagan this time. Yep, that hurts a lot. But... But, I think I've got him. Probably. Maybe. Just, 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 hopefully he doesn't hit Shiba again. <laughs> Oi. Mmm, Plasma. And, uh, I already smoke bombed him once, so... Apparently they didn't really take. And he's faster than Jenna, so I can't really benefit, excuse me, from healing Shiva with Jenna. Okay, he went for Jenna and he missed. That is probably the best result. Mm. I should, hmm. I should attack with a random Jinnies this time because I think I'm about to kill him. And it would be really nice if I could, um, if I could get bonus experience. And as far as I know, he's weak against all elements. Yes! Got it. I think. I wasn't really paying close attention, actually. I don't know if it did the rainbow sparkle. Um, but I did get triple explanation points. And I did kill him with a genie. And that is a lot of experience. So I probably got boosted experience. Okay, I also over doubled my money. So that's nice. Well, that takes care of that. And I'm willing to bet Rip, everyone Briggs has been harassing will be quite happy to hear it. This should set everyone in Indra at ease. They all seem to fear the pirate Briggs. We lost. Even pirates have honor. I'll go quietly. I won't make a scene just because I lost. Go on, hand this over to Mandra or a Fatflow or whoever. Good. First off, you can tell the Madrins that the man called Pierce is innocent. Fine. So, what? I just have to say that Pierce isn't one of my men? Yes? That's right. You tell the Madras that, and they can release their prisoner. Ne oh, we have secured Briggs' vow. We should take him to the Mandarins. Oh? Can't you find it in your hearts to... Hmm? Who indeed? You're his wife. Maybe this is just me, but the picture of a pirate in my mind tells me that... Looking to a side of whether or not a pirate would be married, because, you know, sure, why not? The picture in my mind is that you wouldn't necessarily bring your spouse with you? Unless your spouse... Unless, that is, your spouse was also a pirate. Briggs brought his, his wife with him, therefore his wife is probably also a pirate. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> Thank you! I guess I didn't need to do that much of a... You know, you say that, but... She's clearly also a pirate. <laughs> I know Briggs and men have caused some great trouble with their piracy. And I know their crimes cannot be ignored. If you know all that, then how can you ask us to just forgive them? The only reason Briggs became a pirate was to help the people of Champa. We Champa are seafaring folk. Our livelihood depends entirely upon the sea. But in recent years, the sea has changed. We can't live the life we once lived. The ocean. The oceans have warmed, and the fish have vanished from our waters. 
The soil in Champa is rocky and barren. No crops can grow there. No crops! So that means you have no grains! And no meat! It sounds like life in Champa is hard! It's not hard! It's unbearable! Our children cannot eat! Our village is dying! These men promised to return with food enough for all our people, but they found none. So, piracy. Southeastern corner of Angera, which is the continent that the la entirety of the last game took place on. Southeast Angera? Hmm, let me think. It is actually sort of close. Of course, it's over a huge mountain range. Yeah. Well, yeah. You think we could be successful pirates so close to home? If they raided any towns near- Oh, no, this is the wife. Um, whoops. It would be obvious to all who the attackers were. And, and no one back home could forgive me if they knew. Not even my grandmother. Especially your grandmother. <laughs> Oh, that is so true. But where does that leave us? Are we simply to accept your looting here in Indra? Hey, it's the mayor! And the other mayor! I'm shocked, I tell you! Shocked! I'm sure you are. It looks like they really are pirates! Just as you said! I'm with him on this one, actually. Hmm. He is... I'm pretty sure he was just happy to receive a huge sum of uh, gold and not ask any questions. Am I supposed to believe the ac accusations of a complete stranger? Um... How can I be expected to believe a tidal wave could wash Indra into a Sesnia? Or that a group of men could walk on foot from Mandra all the way to Afar. It sounds to me, but hmm. I'm not sure you remember the last time we met, do you? We met when I was just a child. It must have been more than 10 years ago now. 20 years! It's been 20 years since last I saw you! Evidently so. It's been a long time indeed! Hmm. Don't be silly! I didn't forget his face! His face merely changed. Yep. Would I be correct in assuming that I'm speaking to the leaders of Madra and uh, Alhafra? Correcto mundo! I'm the mayor. Yep. Hurry up, old man. Mayor. May well, elder. Ex-mayor, whose lover was injured by the Champa. Hmm. Creighton! And also Felix and Sheba and Jenna. Not necessarily in that order. Lalivero. Lalivero. I really like that name, actually. It's it's one of those names that's sort of... It looks hard to say, but it's not really too hard to say, and it's just sort of fun. The... yeah... Mm-hmm. Sure you do. I mean, he's already admitted to it, so... Pe um... 
Ask what I thought. You were just happy to receive a huge bag of gold. If they truly were pirates, then why would they go to the trouble of buying a ship from us? Eh, uh, yeah. If the ship was bought with magic gold, then it belongs to the mandarins. What do you say? If you give them the ship, will that fix everything? Fair indeed. I won't run, and I won't hide. Actually, I don't feel up for much of anything right now. I did start to just really beat the crap out of you, so... And I gotta say, for a muggle, you put up one hell of a fight. Uh, as my first encounter can attest to. Um, then you'll probably want my- uh, well, I don't imagine he'll have much of a choice in the matter. Don't worry, cha cha I'll be back. With weapons. Uh, or not. Take care of El Elio. Elio? Eolio? I have no idea how that's pronounced. Your strange powers surprised me, but even without them, you would have overwhelmed us. Um... I'm honestly not sure that's true, but I'll take the compliment. <laughs> I don't know about that. Seriously? Quiet! All of you! Do as you must, but I have one request. You have to let Cha Cha and Hello Leo. Seriously, how do you pronounce that name? Stay in the boat until it's repaired. I mean, that seems reasonable. It's not like they have anything. It's not like they can. Do anything with the boat anyway. Yeah. And our prisoner, Piers. Is he one of your men? I don't know any Piers. Sounds to me like you've made a pretty big mistake. Indeed. must return to Mandarin, free him immediately! And you must finish this already, it's taking too long. Ugh. Only the two of us remain here, blah blah blah. Golden Sun is a really good game, I think, but it is, but it could really probably work on the brevity. Because some of these scenes just kind of go on too long. So it would seem. Yep, he did. And I really wish we weren't having this conversation right now. Oh. Oh. You're just thanking us. Go by your mansion? I will, because you definitely owe me something. Why do I get the feeling that the mayor pre prefers to deal with my father over me? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Don't mention it. Yep, that was the idea. Um... So it seems... I mean, I don't know how fine it is, considering it's totally broken, but... Okay, I'll have to go back to... No? That is good, you should feel that way. Oh, wait, after the boat has been fixed? Son of a bitch. That means we're gonna need to fix the damn boat first. Ugh. Still recovering from the tidal wave. That's Ka. Some kind of reward. I like the sound of that. 
But I don't like the sound of waiting for it. Anyway, no, shut up! Stop it with the cutscenes! I need to save! I'm already five minutes over. Yes, you do. Oh, hey. Okay, fine. Bye. No, stop talking. Yeah, what she said. We should all shut up. Ah, uh, yeah, he is a water adam, so that's pretty interesting, but it's interesting next time, not this time. Mmm, also probably, because we want that reward, but we do not possess the means to completely fix it. So, you know, you know, limited usefulness there. Ah, oh, that isn't a bad idea, actually. Sure, let's fix it. We can't actually fix it right now, though. Like, we definitely can't. Okay, let's do that. Finally, we're done. Join me next time when we do shit. Bye.